Brian here with you on KRCBFM, Windsor San Rosa Radio 91. I'm joined in the studio this morning by Paul Coffin, all the way from Wichita Falls, Texas. Oh, yeah. How are you, man? Doing good, man. It's awfully hilly over here. Compared to Wichita Falls? Yes. Yeah. It's very, it's a lot of different landscapes yeah. out here in the West Coast. It is. It is. Beautiful, uh, though. It's great to see you again. Man, I guess the last time we saw each other was in the Austin Bergstrom Airport. That's correct. That's correct. My first trip to Austin, you were with uh, your old partner in the band Sons of Fathers. Yeah. And I got off the airplane, and you guys were playing right there in the airport. Yeah, right there with the tip bucket, the Folgers can, the whole thing. That's right. And I pointed at you, and you pointed at me. We know that guy. We know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome but, to Texas. <laughs> exactly. My first trip to Austin, and there, you know, I had a friendly face welcoming me right off the airplane. That well, was awesome. It was good to have you there. You got a new album, solo album, My Gospel. Yes, sir. Um, so Sons of Fathers just kind of folded and you've gone out on your own or? Well, you know, it, uh, it was about a five year band and we had released almost about three records mm -hmm. and, uh, David was going this way and I was going that way. And the thing about Sons of Fathers is that David's kind of pop rock side and my country Americana side wrote together and then they made this neutral ground, which was Sons of Fathers. Mm -hmm. And once those two elements keep on going further away from each other it's hard to find that neutral ground so i moved in my direction and kind of went back to my roots with this album uh calling it my gospel i was raised in the gospel church uh this is not a religious record by any means but uh it's just kind of putting my spirit out on the line i guess Your personal gospel yeah it's my personal gospel yeah it's That's mine as you can tell by the title it says my yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a good record. Uh, you recorded it in, a, in some different places. Yeah. yeah, three different places. I recorded, oh, we started out with the four core tracks uh, in Dallas, Texas at uh, Modern Electric Sound uh, there in Dallas. Uh, and I, my producer, Bo Bedford, after we finished uh, about four or five songs, we were like, well, these next songs are awfully uh, churchy vibe. We've got this spirit to them, man. Why don't we... I've got an inn up in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Why don't we go finish it up at Fame Studios? And I was like, yeah, let's do that. We were talking uh, before we went on the air. We played Wild Horses from uh, Rolling Stones, and that's where they recorded that song. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, tell the bathroom story. Well, they, <laughs> you know, they actually recorded it uh, across the town uh, where, um, you know, the Rolling Stones and uh, Skinner and everybody kind of did their stuff over there. Uh, but... I went went over there with Rodney Hall. That's Rick Hall's son, and he wanted us to try out the board that they had just gotten, and they because they were reopening the old studio, and this board was actually Chet Atkins' board, and it had the Coca Cola ring on the API board, and he showed us that ring, and that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. It's like you can just see how much time and dedication he's put into the. Now, like, the board come out of the RCA studios in yes. Nashville. Yeah. So they brought it there. And we just troubleshooted it for them. So we were the first band back in since they closed it down. So it was really kind of a Holy Ghost feeling in there, just kind of eerie vibe, real kind of dank smelling, kind of old vibe in there. You're just like, boy, there's rock and roll everywhere in here. So I was like, man, I got to go to the restroom. I got to go to the restroom. He's like, okay, just know before you go to the restroom that Keith Richards spent almost two days in there with a 12 string doing God knows what sitting on that lid finishing wild horses after he had hung out with uh graham graham parsons out on the west coast and uh I, it took me a long time to urinate <laughs> <laughs> it's funny the older you get the longer it takes well i'm gonna tell you the last time it took me that long to urinate uh probation officer was looking at my package there you go so uh but you know. That's always hard, you know, when you got you have to do it on command. Yeah, you yeah. know, just don't get on probation. Yeah, you know, yeah. And then you won't have, you know, somebody watching you. Or don't get a job where you have to take a drug test. Exactly. Yeah. You want to do a tune for us? I'd love to. That's a pretty guitar. Thank you, Gibson. Hooked me up with this one. This is a J100. Uh, named her Marilyn because she's big hip blonde. Yeah? yeah, I like the the J200, the black one that the Everly Brothers. Used yeah, to man. That's my that's, that's, that's my dream guitar. That's a great one. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to sing one, actually, that we cut out in Muscle Shoals. This one's uh, called Be There Soon. It's on the album. Paul Coffin, live in the studio. If 
If I were to walk down this road, would I find you waiting there for me to stop the noise and break on through? But that ain't the same I'll be there soon Yeah, I'll be See the plains where you reside. See from all the thrills, living like a saint with nothing to hide. Well, I could always run. Oh, I. Great. Thank you. You know, I love your voice. Um, it, your voice kind of brings to mind to me a cross between Elvis and Johnny Cash. Oh, well, thank you so much. And you can't get better than that. Well, I, I appreciate that, man. Thank yeah. you. And it's nice to hear you. I mean, you know, with Sons of Fathers, it was a lot of harmonies and, and stuff. And this yeah. is, you know, you're right out front on this one. The record's really good. Well, thank um, you. Uh, you got Spooner Oldham played on that <laughs> yeah, song. Yeah, man. He, the... uh, he played on that track uh, with us. And he came, he came in, and that's when you kind of get these moments where you're like, "Wow, what has this music? Where has this music got me? I mean, what is what is happening?" Yeah, kind of baffled, starstruck. We sat outside, and, and he's like, "You want to go across the street and get some banana pudding?" And I said, "Yes." <laughs> so we went across the street, me and Spooner, and we got some <laughs> banana pudding. And he told me about the um, first time he ever met Elvis. And I was like, very, I mean, I'm just fascinated by Elvis. And he said that he was invited to a New Year's Eve party, not by Elvis, by another friend, a friend of a friend of a friend, I guess, of Elvis. He says he goes to this nightclub and he's like him and his wife and they walk in and the first door, there's a guy with a gun frisking them down, asking them who they are, who invited them. He says he goes through another door. Another man with a gun. Ask them who they're with. Who invited you? What's your what's your reasoning for being here? 
third checkpoint. Big old guy. He said, big old dude. He's like, okay, who are you with? You ready to party? <laughs> and he opens the curtain, and he walks in, and he says that he sees Priscilla and Elvis in matching purple chinchilla suits. Ooh. Right there on the dance floor with uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and just everybody, anybody that was anybody. Neil Young. Um, he just kept on naming people off the list. Was it in L.A.? Uh, Memphis. In Memphis. Okay. This is in Memphis. Yeah. And so he says that he starts dancing with his wife, and everybody's on the dance floor. Then all of a sudden he backs up. He bumps into somebody, turns around, and it's Elvis Presley. And they bumped into each other while they were dancing. And so on the dance floor, Spooner said, this is my wife. And he said, this is Priscilla. And they shook hands, and they met on the dance floor. Wow. <laughs> so I, that story while eating banana pudding is something I'll keep for the rest of my life. That's right. Spooner's played with everybody. I mean, he played oh, with the Stones. You know, and, yeah. I mean, Aretha Franklin, enough said. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There no, you go. Nothing really else to talk about. Paul Cawthon in the studio with us. His new album is My Gospel. We're going to play the first single off the record. It's called I'll Be the One. Yeah. Uh, tell us, is there a story behind this tune? Well, uh, this song, I was, uh, I was in San Marcos, and uh, me and my lady had taken a little break. And I needed to write something to just prove that I loved her forever kind of song, I guess. Win her back. Win her back. And, you know, she's just, uh, she's kind of been my muse along the way. It worked. Yeah, it worked. I'll be the one Paul Cawthon here on KRCB Radio 91. I'll be the one, Paul Coffin, from the new one, My Gospel. Paul is joining us in the studio all the way from Wichita Falls. Thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate it. It's good to see you. And it's good to see you, too, my friend. You're on tour with Cody Jinx? On tour with Cody. So you played uh, in San Francisco on Saturday? Yeah, we played uh, the Great American Music Hall, and uh, that was a great, great show. We sold that one out, and now we're heading up to Portland. Nice. And uh, we were playing... Uh, Portland, and then we go up to Seattle, and there's uh, about probably about eight more shows on this run, mm -hmm. and then I come back and I'm doing some things in Dallas. I'm playing the Neil Fest, the Neil Young tribute with Nora Jones and some other people there at the Granada Theater, and then after that I'm doing some event with Shaky Graves, and I'm just going to continue to drop every name that I know, <laughs> and uh, you know it's just it's busy, man. We're going to I'm going to Dublin. Oh, nice. Um, end of April. Now, did yeah. you guys tour over in Europe as Sons of Fathers? Did you? Never. We came so close. Yeah. But uh, it was uh, just an American thing. So, so you're, this is your first tour of... Yeah, it's my first time to release a record. Uh, was uh, in 2016. We released one over there as well. And um, it's, been, it's been tracking and gaining some momentum. And we'll see what happens. Nice. Maybe it's like Beatlemania, but in reverse. Yeah. You know, I go over there and they've just got signs and everybody's ripping gazoos and screaming for me. You waiting know? for you at the waiting airport. Waiting for me at the airport. Yeah. That's that might happen. You know, I doubt it, but it'd be nice. We'll see. Yeah. It'd be real nice. You want to do another tune for us? Oh, man, I'd love to. I'm gonna sing this song called "Let It Burn." I wrote this with my buddy Noah Jackson in Dallas. Uh, he's an amazing songwriter who lives in Nashville now. So. My mind, I always see you, I always feel you standing there with the same cotton dress you wore when I first met you. I recall the sunlight in your hair. Okay, on a dream, break your heart. Can it tear your world apart? Let the flame light the fire. Let it burn through all desire. Burn. Go on, let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn.
in my life no miss you all the times I should have kissed you locked away in some old drawer well, it takes time to mend a soul and we've both been growing old you don't live here anymore can a dream break your heart can it tear your world apart let the flame light the fire let it burn to desire go on let it burn let it burn let it burn let it burn go on let it burn let it burn you let it burn let it burn, let it burn, don't let it burn, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. That was nice. Thank you. Paul Coffin in the studio. Thank you so much. From the new album, My Gospel and Let It Burn. So uh, we were talking before we went on the air that you've got like 100 songs in the can that you... Uh, do you write all the time? I try to. Uh, I, ch I try to put some effort into a song every day. Yeah. And um, whether that's just going over some of the old voice memos, the little what uh, Andre 3000 calls it, baby talk. Mm -hmm. You know, like, da, 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 nationwide is on your side. That's what that started as. Oh. A guy just humming it into his voice memo, and now it's the biggest commercial nationwide jingle. That's right. But I do it with real songs. Yeah. And um, I kind of put it in, I have different departments for my songs. It's a weird thing I have in my head. It's like I have lines that are just maybe sometimes poetry or uh, some words in a book that I write down. And then I'll have just melodies, like I just spoke, just sang, just kind of like da 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 da, baby talk, whatever, on a voice memo that I'll listen to, or I'll have something with the guitar and me, or something with a piano. So it comes both ways. You yeah, it comes either way that you can get a song. Sometimes you know, the words, sometimes the melody. Just, yeah. I don't close myself off to one way of a song working. Mm -hmm. And then I like to sit down with other writers that I love a lot as much as I can. Yeah. And so. Um, just keep it trucking, you know. And when I have time off, me and my lady are at the house a lot, and she's doing her thing. She has a boutique business, so she's, you know, running orders and packages and doing that. And I'm up in my music room just singing away with my chocolate lab at my feet, you know, and listening to records and uh, just staying active for the song, you know. Yeah kind of taking the approach like Guy Clark, you know. He says you need to write a hundred terrible songs. To get a good one. To get a good one. Yeah. So, Do you write on the road? Yes, I do. Yeah. I write in hotel rooms. Yeah, some t some people find it easy. Some people find it hard to write on the road. I've uh, Me and our Ward Davis, Cody Jinks, and myself finished one up that we're really excited about. And um, we just, you've got to really pencil in the time. Yeah and do it the day before it's not like sporadic riding doesn't really happen on the road because you're always moving and shaking you know if we say okay we're off tomorrow instead of going to a bar and drinking and watching sports let's get in the bus and uh sit down with some guitars and work what, something up yeah you know and we did yeah so we're actually batting a thousand cool so Paul Coffin on tour right now with Cody Jinks. The new album, My Gospel, it is out. You can get it. Go to your local record store, which is the last record store here in Sonoma County, or you can get it online, I'm imagining. Oh, yeah, all the outlets you can ever think up, it's there. Well, it's good to see you again, man. Thanks for coming in. Hey, thank you so much, guys. Y'all have been so nice, and I uh, hope to come see y'all soon. Good luck with the record. Hope it does really well, and uh, come on by anytime. 
All right. Well, come fly into Austin. Maybe I'll be playing the airport. <laughs> uh, that was a, that was such a weird thing. That was why don't a, uh, let us know when you come to Texas, though? Okay, I will right. indeed. Paul Thank Coffin, you so much. live in the studio. Here's uh, from the new record, a song called Grand Central on KRCB.